it's been a little while, hasn't it? I've been kind of taking the summer off, which has been fun. Also, I'm working on a little um, like summer vlog of just different things I've been doing. So that's in progress, but I wanted to come on here today to do a little sketchbook tour. Here's my sketchbook that I filled. Um, it's not very glamorous, it's actually quite beat up. But I had this project in mind and, or like a video project type thing. Didn't really work out how I planned. So a while back on Instagram, I saw this video by a creator that I will put their name on the screen here um, about like filling a sketchbook in 24 hours. And I was like, that is a challenge I'm up for. So I gave it a try and absolutely did not succeed. Um, it has taken like months <laughs> to finish this sketchbook, but that's because I gave myself really strict parameters and I wanted to um, just see how I did. So basically I'm just gonna show you the sketchbook from that project. The idea was that I was gonna fill, this is a 40 page sketchbook and it's a little bit big. I probably should have picked something smaller um, and maybe not 40 pages, but that's, I couldn't find anything smaller. Anyways, I decided that I was going to do this whole thing in marker. Marker is a medium that I don't like and I'm not very good with. So I was like, I'm gonna try and see if I can figure out how to use this medium in a way that I like. So um, that's what I'm gonna show you today. We're just gonna switch to like an overhead filming thing and I'm gonna flip through all the pages of this uh, sketchbook. A couple things before we go do that. First of all, I know there is not a lot of great art in here. <laughs> I'm not um, bringing it forward to be like, look what a fine artist I am. This is to say, look at how determined I was to meet the goal of filling this sketchbook and of trying to work with a medium that I don't like and that I'm not great at. I feel like I made a lot of progress actually, and I'm proud of some of this stuff, especially at the end of this sketchbook, so we will get to that. Second thing I wanna mention, can, I don't know if these are in focus. My nails look bad, so we're not gonna talk about them, okay? I don't have any uh, long ones on right now. I have this hand painted pink badly and nothing on this hand. I'm not even gonna explain why. It was just a sort of a um, scatterbrained experience. So um, we're not gonna talk about that. What else is there to say? I should tell you, but actually I should tell you the materials that I use. So let me go grab the box of markers. Okay, I got them. Um, these are, these are the markers that I was using. These are from Desairs, which is a Canadian art store. Uh, they're called Tuxedo Markers, water-based ink twin tips. So they look like that inside. These, um, this like brand by Desairs, like their store brand, are often like, not a knockoff, but just like a comparable version to a more popular fine arts brand. I don't know what this one is mimicking, but um, so it's probably like something you've seen before. Anyways, they're like black markers, twin tip, there's like a skinny end and then like a brush tip. So that was my, these were my tools for the sketchbook. In terms of the sketchbook, it is from the dollar store. I didn't want to buy an expensive one for this. It doesn't even say what the weight of the paper is. It just says quality art paper, but it was like $2 for this little book, um, which is perfectly good. I actually bought another one. I'm trying to do like another version of this with just like pencil drawings um, to see if I can get better at like pencil sketching. So we'll see, but anyways, that's enough out of me. I hope that you are excited to watch this. All right, I'm going to go find a surface that I can clean off. <laughs> Every desk I have has so much stuff on it. And then we'll uh, we'll take a look at this together. Cool? Okay, see you there. All right, hopefully this angle is good and in focus. Here's the sketchbook. Let's go through it together. Also, I wasn't totally sure like what to, how to show you every page. Like I just, I'm just gonna do my best and walk through this together and whatever. Um, okay, so here's page one. I'm gonna move that, I'm gonna flip them. This is my first drawing. It was drawn in order to celebrate starting this challenge. This is me feeling really determined. I was wearing like a shirt with a skull on it that day. So that's accurate to life. Um, and these were just doodles with the marker. This is sort of where I feel safest using markers, which is just using it to doodle things. Um, but I felt like that was not kind of where I wanted to be with that medium. I wanted to learn how people did like cool drawings. I'm not sure that I figured it out. Anyways, this should be started. Then I did a challenge where I drew a bunch of blobs and took a, I guess this wasn't a marker, so maybe I'm already breaking my challenge, but I took a, um, like a pen and drew the little birds on top of the blobs. I do think that blobs are a great way to fill a page and like a really good exercise um, because look at how many shapes of birds we got out of this. Uh, this was sort of like a journal-y page I did when I was sitting in Ikea at the restaurant one day. Um, so a little bit of like 
trying to color with the markers. And here's where I started to realize like these were streaky. These are not alcohol based markers, so they do get really streaky. Um, so that's kind of a challenge to work around. But I was, um, you know, mimicking a pattern that was on a lamp, just doing some, some doodling. But like, yeah, see here in the um, fork, it's like really, I don't know. You kind of have to embrace the messiness of it. And that's something that I had to kind of learn to do. Next, I was back to doodling characters. I know this is really light, sorry. Hopefully you can see it because I used a light blue, but I really think these characters are cute. Um, we have a cat draw driving a bottle of ketchup, very like World of Richard Scary style. Um, peas and corn as best friends. I'm still thinking about these guys and I really want to like draw them again. I think I might scan this or take a photo of it and then take these into my iPad and like draw these characters a little better. Uh, there's a baby carrot, which is again, like a little baby Wait, oh, sorry. There's a baby carrot right there. Uh, baby carrot, some cherries, little strawberry guy, a pansy with legs, um, a carrot. I don't know, I, these are just really cute um, and food characters mostly. The cat driving the ketchup bottle though, that's something. I think there's really something there. Next page I wanted to try, dra try drawing tiny things that were like things from nature. So these are just a bunch of like itty bitty drawings, um, like bugs and mice and leaves and flowers. Um, yeah, just like a tiny drawing challenge. I guess I'll say that I did the tiny because I found the markers were very messy. So it was like harder to do detail work. So that was the challenge for that one. Um, then I wanted to do a grid. So I did this yellow grid. There were some colors in my pack that were really light that I found kind of hard to work with. And um, this yellow is one of them, but I enjoyed doing like different flowers and different bugs. I'm finding that like, some things I'm able to draw and I'm like, ooh, I like how that looks in marker. And other things I'm like, oh, that looks gross. Like, um, like this ant is frankly not good, but I think uh, this spider is kind of funny. And this flower is cute, but um, I don't know what's going on. Like this one I don't like, so I'm, I'm learning. Um, these are just some uh, flowers that were on my deck. These are chamomile flowers. Again, like the really light color I guess it kind of looks okay on camera as I glance, but, um, and like oregano herbs. So botanicals are something I draw a lot. So that's is why you're seeing a lot of me drawing them in marker. Cause I'm trying to figure out like, how do I do normal things I draw in this medium? I really liked this challenge where I just drew a bunch of blocks and then build it out into a cityscape. So that was again, really fun. Sort of like the bird challenge. Um, and by all means, like copy, like copy these challenges, like maybe don't do my exact designs, but like, if you want to try filling a sketchbook page full of little blocks and make them into hotels and apartment buildings and I don't know, I guess I didn't do any whatever else. Oh, there's a cafe. Go for it. Um, some more flowers. I was trying to do like a more of a graphic style. I hated how these looked, so we won't dwell on those. Then I started drawing more characters again. We got these bears who I think are very cute. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with the really bad proportions on this like Papa Bear character. I think he's very funny. And then I filled in the gaps with like tea time objects. So I like these characters a lot. Love what's going on with the really thick Mama Bear here. Um, she's really serving tea. Uh, here's just some sketches that were of me. I'm not like, you've, you've, you guys know that I'm not like a person in a way, I am not like a person, but in a way, I also am. But more importantly, I'm not good at drawing them. So this is me just trying to like play with like styles of drawing. Um, I found a couple ways to do digital illustrations of people that I like, and those are like on my feed. But um, yeah, just working on some moods. Um, this was like a little experiment drawing over a pattern. So I believe I, yeah, I did all the yellow dots first and filled the page. And then I drew over top just to kind of see what that felt like. Um, and it feels a little bit dizzying <laughs> is the end result, but it's a cute little pajama cat. Um, again, I got the proportions a little bit weird, but um, with all sorts of like bedtime stuff. This was an experiment where I was trying to make like windows through to see something else. Um, I don't think it executed well. This is a really weird looking thing. It's nothing really. Um, again, the streakiness of the markers bummed me out, but it just, it was a warm up, I guess. This is another blob page, and this one I did with bugs. Um, they were all beetle type bugs, and that was fun, but I did feel like I ran out of ideas pretty quickly 
drawing these little guys. Um, I had this idea, or maybe I saw something that was like a little tiny cat sitting in a big forest of flowers. I think that's, I've seen like lots of pieces of art that have that imagery. I probably even made them before, but I wanted to try drawing that little cat with the big flowers. And um, yeah, I'm still not feeling like I grasped markers at that point, but then I started doing pattern pages and I enjoyed that a little bit more. This is like just a vine pattern. Um, it doesn't, it's not like a tiling pattern, but I just wanted to fill the page. And I enjoyed this because of the bold color choices. And also this yellow color didn't leave the streaky marks on the page like the other colors I was using. So I felt more satisfied. Um, again, I really liked the color combination here. I felt like I was going somewhere with this. I don't know where, but somewhere. So the color combo was great. The blue background, I worked fast and I don't see as much streakiness, which I think meant I was sort of starting to get a handle on the markers. It's not perfect, but I, I do like the feeling of this piece. Um, this one, again, like the background is better. It's not streaky, but it is chunky. Like you can see all the lines um, or like sections where I colored. And the oranges look cute, but I was starting to realize that when you layer these markers, they definitely bleed. Like I'm getting a little bit of bleed in there. So the order in which you choose the colors matters. Like you can't really do light over dark so much. And if I do like the light, like I did the yellow before the orange, which was good, but if I didn't wait long enough, the orange would bleed into the yellow, which is why some of the edges are so soft. So just learning more stuff here. This was a piece that took me a really long time. Um, and it was, I don't know where I got this idea, but it was just like, I wanted to do a, a pattern that was people on the beach. And this, <laughs> this doesn't look very good. But it's fine. This is like, like I said, we're not, I wasn't doing this to make fine art. I was doing this to try something. Um, I like the beach towels. Um, I like the different poses. Um, there's a lot of bleed here. Like the dark blue for the swimsuits bled in all of them, I think. So that was something. Um, really horrible color combinations here. But again, just trying some stuff. I think originally I tried to do this as like a number pattern. I see like one, two, three, uh, four here, but then this is nothing. So I think I forgot partway through that I was trying to do numbers. <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, another fruit pattern, this is just cherries. It's kind of boring. Um, then I thought I'd do a vase because I love artists who do like still life cartoons with like vase paintings, but I just don't think I had a good concept and the flowers were a little bit of a disaster, but um, you know, it's okay. I filled the page and that's what kind of mattered. Now this was, I actually felt like this was something. Um, and what I did here was I colored in these yellow blocks and then I used brown over top when it was dry, didn't make sure it was fully dry, to like do like a negative relief picture. And they're just sort of some plant lives. But I really feel like this looks like something and this page has me excited. So um, I'm not sure where I'm going with this, but out of all the pages, this was kind of the first time I was like, wait, I think I'm actually doing something here. And I liked this. But then I uh, immediately went back to drawing <laughs> characters. I also don't know what all this dirt is on these pages. I haven't taken this sketchbook anywhere. Maybe it's just from the desk I was working on. Anyways, um, just some completely freestyled animals. Some of them are, have really ugly faces. Others are cute. This cat is cute. This bear, very cute. Love the goose's neck. Uh, I think that's a hamster or a guinea pig. This is a really funny mouse as well. I love its like stupid face. So these characters, very cute. Again, ones that I might like scan and, and do like a digital version of. Um, Try to do a mermaid. This looks like a child drew it, um, or specifically like I drew it as a child, which is a freeing experience to just be like, yeah, this is how I would have drawn when I was eight, but um, I'm my whole grown age and I don't really draw like that. So um, I have mixed feelings about it. It's also sort of, it's fine. Um, this is cute. There was, I was listening to a, one of those like lo-fi YouTube playlists and it had like a cat, a black cat in it. So this is just what I was kind of drawing the, my version of that cat and trying to use black, but leave white spaces to show details. And then I did a bunch of cat expressions, which honestly I love a lot more. Like, I don't know what's happening here. Possibly the worst one, but by far the funniest. Um, so that was good. Then uh, I decided to try and draw little guys with different hats. Um, don't feel like I learned or achieved anything on this one, but 
do like this one. I think that's my favorite. Back to some botanicals. I want to work with a single color and do more pieces that looked like they could be part of like a wallpaper pattern. So that was kind of the experiment here. Yeah, I was just kind of focused on filling the page and I do like it kind of, I don't know. Um, I think we're starting to get to places where I like forgot to finish pages, but this was gonna be like more ocean themed stuff. So coloring in this seaweed, it was a drawing style that I do more digital. So like this sort of half tone for the leaves of the seaweed, but I colored it in and you can really see the markers, uh, like the lines and the impact from it. So not loving that. I do think this fish is very funny. Um, this is nothing up here. Uh, then we got into, I think we're doing, yeah, we're sort of winding through it actually. Um, I was doing more line art drawing and then trying to color it just to see how that worked. Um, this is a photo of my parents' puppy. Um, truly, I know how shrunk he looks here. Like I know his little front legs look very miniature. That is how he looked um, because he's growing fast and his head was is bigger than his little body at this point. Um, and also he was kind of up close to me with his head and his paws are back for perspective. So I know it kind of looks a little weird, but this is truly how he looked. And then this is a dark eyed junco, which is a bird I've been obsessed with because I have one that hangs out on my balcony and just some flowers that I think I just free handed um, and lots of clover because I had been sitting in the field with looking for clover with this little puppy. Um, did I learn anything from this? Yeah, so I was starting to just be like looser coloring like you see in the flowers and the clovers here. Um, and I think that is more effective. So like draw it out with a darker color and then very loosely scribble the color in with lighter colors. And I think that is an effect I like. Like these flowers in this bird, I, I kind of like actually like what's happening here. And this is where I really, I really feel like I started to figure some stuff out on this page. Um, so first I was gonna just do this crab because I want to do more sea life stuff. And I didn't, this was like a first attempt, but when I got down to this crab and this one, I really felt like I was starting to figure out the markers a little bit more. So I wanted to have multicolors to represent the dimensions in the crab from the reference picture I was using, whatever it was. So here I tried to like make them all like separate blocks of color, right? And that's fine. Like, it's not bad, it's kind of fun to look at. But down here is where I was like, oh, if I do the sketch in the orange and then wait for it to dry mostly and then go back and do sort of like really sketchy details in the dark red for contrast, it actually looks a lot better. And that's kind of like something I wasn't picking up on earlier in using the markers. So not using like super high contrast color, like differences, like I'm just using red and orange, but together I think it looks good. There's also a little bit of bleed, like right around the two sides, but because of the sort of sketchy approach I did to doing the red details, the bleed looks more natural versus looking like I messed something up. And then down here, again, I was keeping really sketchy with this hermit crab, um, just using a couple different colors, but and leaving some white space as well. I, I feel like I was really starting to get somewhere. And I, let me just see. Yeah, I don't really go anywhere else with that learning, but I'm just assuring you that this page felt like it taught me a lot about using markers. I tried to continue that learning with this flower because I used this magenta and then used red over it, but they were really close and it kind of blurred, blurred together a lot. So you probably can't even see the differentiation there. But I did like these fun little pots and I liked coloring the background and the colors here. And I did some really good sketches. Like I love these, look at these birds. And I'm completely obsessed with birds right now. So um, that's why there's so many at the end of this book. I love these, I think these are so good. I think I should scan this whole page and color it in because I just love it. Um, yeah, obviously only used one marker and I think I'm discovering and maybe you're hearing me say that the pages that I don't do any like marker coloring but I just used it as like a tool just to draw are the ones that I'm most satisfied with. So I think that that is a big learning as well. Um, this is a page of nothing. I think I was just drawing things that were around my apartment. Tried to do something like monopolizing, not monopolizing. I tried to use the bleed to advantage to make this like jam full of strawberries, but it just kind of makes them look like the picture got wet. Here are some more birds, very funny bird. I'm really happy with like how I did the line work and the sketchiness of the face. Um, this is an osprey, Both all of this is osprey, egg, feather, and birds 
because I've had some ospreys outside my balcony this summer. So again, I'm like really into the birds. I'm happy with my sketches. I think I'm learning that markers are a good medium for me to sketch with. Um, even here, like this piping plover and its chick, which are a little bit wobbly. I still kind of like how the effect looks. I was trying to use the bleed to some effect here with the sunflower, um, but it, I don't, we don't talk about what that looks like. Um, very, I lost, I lost my ability to draw birds suddenly. So we have a really weird blue jay. If you take that part off, it's kind of something. Um, this is supposed to be a cedar wax wing, which is a, a phenomenally spherical bird. And it has like a little bandit mask. Didn't, didn't perfectly translate. But these flowers, especially these ones right here, I think are reminiscent of that page I liked. Ooh, no, don't, let's not look at those. God, where's the one I liked? This one. I think it was sort of reminiscent of this. Um, you can see the, the shape. So there's something in that um, style that I want to keep working at. And that's it. That, that's the last thing I drew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, yeah, there's just like, oh, that's so embarrassing. I thought I was totally done the sketchbook and there's like two blank pages at the back. We don't have to worry about that. Let's go back and just look at this page that I liked. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking through this sketchbook with me. Let me know if you did and then that will give me some determination to finish the pencil sketch one I'm doing and we can flip through that one after as well. Like I said, I think I learned a lot. This was a fun exercise. By all means, definitely do it yourself if you feel inspired. Pick a medium like pastel or collage or markers or paints or whatever, and just try and fill a sketchbook with just that. And don't be afraid to make pages you hate because there's some ugly stuff in here, but this page I like, and that's important for the learning process. All right, I will catch you guys later. Thanks again for bearing with me with this little um, summer break I've taken, but yeah, here's a bad flip through of these pages. <laughs> All right. Love you lots. Bye.